So do you ever just take a look at what's happening in the world and just have to ask yourself like, is this even real life? What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community or pop culture in general, try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is coming out this week and I'm giving away a bunch of free copies. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so before I jump into this video, um, I just wanna have a talk, just me and you, real quick. So I've been talking with some other creators and some audience members, some Rewired Soldiers about the channel and something that's come up is when I look at my channel compared to others, you know, and I'm trying to find the differences, some people think that my videos seem a little less researched. And I'm like, huh, well that's interesting because I follow stories for months or even years. But those of you who have been around for a while, like you know the purpose of my videos, like I'm just trying to give you some context and then see what you and I can both learn from watching these YouTubers or celebrities or movies or TV shows and see what we can learn from them, right? So I don't like going into all the details of all the stories because then at a certain point it kind of, it kind of feels for, to me personally like I'm just gossiping. Like I wanna just kind of get to the point and then say, okay, what can we learn from this, right? But anyways, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try giving you some more context about Tana Mojo and Jake Paul getting engaged. And I want all of you to just remember throughout this whole thing, like this is about you, all right? Or maybe you know some friends who are being ridiculous like this as well, all right? So anyways, this has been going on for a few months, this relationship. And yeah, I, originally I was hoping, I was praying to God that this was a PR stunt. Maybe it still is. Maybe maybe they're gonna pull like a Danielle Cohn and just tell us that this was all a joke. But anyways, um, Tana Mojo was dating, obviously she was dating Bella Thorne. And then, you know, when that thing ended, they're still friends. She started dating fake Justin Bieber, who was Brad Sosa. And just, man, within months, months ago, um, it came out right around the time of Coachella, uh, Tana Mojo, you know, said that Brad Sosa cheated on her, right? And Brad made this like apology video and everything like that. And within like days, maybe even a week or two, this whole thing with Tana Mojo and Jake Paul started. And it was like, okay, this is just for publicity, you know, whatever, get people talking about it and all of that. But anyways, Tana Mojo was cheated on, on Brad, by Brad Sosa, okay? So now let's talk about Jake Paul. Jake Paul, his last two major relationships were with Alyssa Violet and Erica Costell, both of which he cheated on, all right? So if you watch the Shane Dawson docuseries and like Shane Dawson, you know, interviewed like Jake Paul and Erica Costell and then he interviewed like Alyssa Violet and everything like that, like Jake Paul was not good. And there was a lot of things that came up during that series about emotional abuse and things like that. Um, but then, you know, not long after the Shane Dawson series, Jake Paul and Erica Costell broke up and it came to light that Jake Paul was cheating on Erica Costell as well. So by the way, if you want me to do a video on like why people are attracted to cheaters, let me know because it, it, it does kind of blow my mind that Tana Mojo is now dating Jake Paul. Tana Mojo just got cheated on and she knows that Jake Paul is a known cheater, all right? So anyways, Jake Paul and Tana Mojo, they started making videos together and, you know, seemingly hooking up and Jake Paul has like said some things to Brad Sosa and Jake Paul and Tana, they did this video that was like terrible. I was thinking about making a video on it where they like took care of these two kids because Jake Paul has kids around all the time. But anyways, and they were like joking around about what it's like to be parents. Like if any of you out there are parents and you watch that video, like, <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, as a parent, when you see somebody saying like, oh, I, it's like I have a kid because, you know, I have a dog or whatever. And it's like, no, no. Like if you have a child that you're watching and you give it away, that doesn't mean that you're going to be a good parent. Anyways, t it, this has been leading up to Tana Mojo's birthday. And she just turned 21. Congratulations to you, Tana. Why congratulations? You just survived. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess that's a big deal for Tana Mojo to survive up to 21. But anyways, um, leading up to it, like she was publicly kind of like 
telling or pressuring Jake Paul into buying her a car, which isn't a big deal because Jake Paul is a multimillionaire. But anyways, like I'm always looking at this stuff and I'm thinking about the example that it's being to other people. And like, yeah, Tana Mojo, like she knows how to work her audience and everything like that on Twitter. And she was like getting everybody to retweet and you know, hashtag like Jake Paul buy Tana a car and he ended up buying her a car it looks like. All right, so anyways, her birthday just happened and yeah, it looks like they got engaged, all right? And this is awful from a million different angles, okay? Like again, I pray if there is a God that this is all a PR stunt, but let's talk about this because this is something that's actually very common and I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't, if they did get engaged. So one of the first things, aside from like knowing who you're getting with and knowing what their track record is, like have they proven to you that they are a changed or a different person, but like rushing into things, right? Like this is one of the worst things that we can do in relationships when we rush into things. Maybe it's rushing into moving in with them, but especially like getting engaged, getting married and things like that. Because here's what you see with Jake Paul and Tana Mojo. And like, this is why I want all of us to learn from it because we see this happen in so many other situations. Maybe you have a friend or maybe you were this person where in the beginning, like, of course, everything is amazing. It's the honeymoon phase, right? Everything's all like tra-la-la and oh my God, we're so in love. And like, you know, we're just making love and we're doing all these fun things and everything like that. But here's something that I learned a long time ago. Like how good a relationship is, isn't based on the best times. It's based on how you get through the struggles, all right? And this is what really shows you how strong a relationship is. And I'm, I'm not telling anybody like go out and like cause your own struggles, but like you have to see, like before you take a giant leap into a relationship, such as moving in or getting engaged or whatever, like you have to have had to go through some difficult times, right? Because sometimes what people find out after the whole honeymoon phase, it's like the person they're dating, and you might be able to relate to this, let me know down in the comments below, like the person you're dating is awful at being there for you. Like when you're going through a legitimately hard time, like that person doesn't know how to be there for you, or they're very selfish or self-centered or whatever it is, right? So during the whole honeymoon phase, you can't tell that. Like I've met people who like dove into a relationship or whatever, and then they had like a loved one pass away, or maybe they lost a job or something happened with their friends or family members or whatever it is. And then the person that they were like so in love with during the honeymoon phase was just non-existent during that time and during that struggle. And then they were just, their eyes were opened up. And that's why we really need to realize that like, it's based on our expectations, right? We we jump into a relationship and we expect everything to be perfect forever. We expect, uh, you know, the feelings we have and everything like that to be like this forever. It's going to be like this, you know? Like, just to give you, you know, an example, like my, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I, we're now living together, but we didn't move in together for almost two years after dating, all right? The other thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to Tana Mojo and Jake Paul getting engaged, like, here's what bums me out, all right? Like, it seems like marriage and that whole thing, it's just, it's just not even a big deal anymore. Like, I remember, like, growing up, and <laughs> maybe it's because I was a romantic and everything like that, but, like, you know, marriage is, like, a big deal. It's, like, two people in love and, like, these soulmates coming together and, like, devoting themselves to one another, and it's this huge deal. But something I realized as I got older, and this has been a major issue, especially in the United States for a long time, is that people just get married all willy-nilly. Like, I live in Las Vegas. Like, I live in the city where people just come through, get married, <laughs> take off, you know? And like, that's, that's what bums me out because it's like, it's not even a huge deal. The other thing that kind of bugs me about just people like rushing into marriages and stuff, it's like, when I see, you know, like, people who are against like gay marriage, I am just blown away. I am absolutely blown away with the amount of people who just rush into marriages, the divorce rates are extremely high and all this like, why do you care that these, these two people who have like had to fight for the right to get married, like why do you care that they're getting married when so many, you know, straight normal, you know, quote unquote normal couples are doing this every single day and like, to me, that is tarnishing, you know, the the sanctity of marriage by just rushing into these things. So anyways, if this thing with Tana Mojo and Jake Paul 
is for real, I do not see it lasting very long. And here's the thing, here's what bums me out. And like, I'm no psychic, but like, I don't imagine this relationship working out. Um, I made a video the other day, it seems like Tana Mojo is growing and things like that, but like Jake Paul has not changed. There is nothing about Jake Paul that has changed. And what bums me out is seeing somebody like Tana Mojo win if, I'll say if, because I'm trying to be an optimist here, if it does fall apart, you know, she's gonna be crushed, she's gonna be hurt, she's gonna be devastated, she's gonna be surprised. But I guess the last thing I'll say before I let you go, like we really have to do a better job choosing the relationships that we even get in. Like we really need to assess the situation, say who is this person? And the thing is like most of you out there, you don't have as much information on a person that you're about to date as Tana Mojo has on Jake Paul. Like again, his track record is not great. So we need to realize when we get into relationships with somebody who is not a great person, like we cannot be surprised when it doesn't work out. You know what I mean? But anyways, let me know if you have any experience with this down in the comments below. Have you ever rushed into anything? Have you rushed into moving in with somebody? Have you rushed into getting married to somebody or engaged with somebody, having children with somebody? Whatever it is, let me know how that worked out down in the comments below. And I'm sure there's some outliers where it did work out pretty well, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget, follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And I want to send out a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And don't forget, patrons, if you're at, I believe, the $20 tier and up, you get all of my books for free, including Rewire Your Anxiety, which is coming out this week. All right? If you want to become a patron, just click or tap right there. Real easy. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.